I'm so glad I finally found an app that helps me find a community of writers and readers that have similar interests to mine. Oh, are you talking about TikTok? Yeah, we're going to ban that app. But why? It's so great for so many people to find like-minded communities. Yes, and we love that for the American community. We just want you to do it on an app that we can steal, I mean, protect your data. So for those of you who don't know, a bill was recently passed laying the groundwork to either ban or force TikTok to sell their app. Considering how influential BookTok has been for so many readers, this is a big deal for a lot of authors. On top of making writing content on YouTube, I've also made plenty of writing content for TikTok. For a lot of writers, TikTok is their main way of getting exposure. Because of that, TikTok either being sold or banned would be a huge deal for authors. A lot of writers on TikTok are currently panicking about the platform potentially being banned. I'm here to tell you to take a deep breath. And I'm here to give you four tips to deal with this writer TikTok situation. Because not for nothing, even if TikTok doesn't get banned, which I don't think it will, it's not a good idea to have all your writing platforms tied to companies that you have no control over. My first tip is just to focus on making the content you typically make. There's still a lot of other things that need to happen before this bill gets put into action. And even if it does, it'll take several months before TikTok actually gets banned or sold. So for now, just focus on continuing to grow your platform and try to reach as many readers as possible. One of the big mistakes I see authors making on TikTok right now is panicking. Authors are making video after video trying to get people to move to other platforms. And to that, I say, take a deep breath. The problem with these videos where you try to get people to follow you on other platforms is they don't really work that well. The goal of TikTok is to keep you on TikTok as long as possible. Therefore, they're not going to promote a video that tells their users to go to Instagram or YouTube instead. I think a better strategy is to either just link your other profiles in your bio or just mention it at the end of a video. That way, people still get value out of your content and engage with it. My second tip to deal with this is to start repurposing your TikTok content onto other platforms. Right now, TikTok is not the only platform trying to promote short form content. On this channel, I always post my TikTok skits as YouTube shorts. We have to go after them. We can't. It's just too dangerous. I totally agree with you. Wait, where'd you come from? I've been standing here the whole time. I looked a moment ago and you were not standing there. Where'd he go? I seriously don't understand how this happens every single time we try to have a conversation here. I also post the skits that do well on Instagram. One of the best ways to ensure you're not hurt too bad by a potential TikTok ban is making sure you're using other social media platforms. And the reason I say repurpose your content is when you go to other social media platforms, there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. The other thing I've noticed is a lot of times the videos that do best on TikTok also do better on my other platforms. So I would recommend all you writers on TikTok to start taking your best videos, put them through watermark removers, and post them on Instagram and YouTube. The best part about this tip is even if TikTok doesn't get banned, you're still growing your author community. These are all tips that are beneficial no matter what. My third tip is to start creating your own author email list. Look, I love social media, but the idea of putting all your eggs in a basket that you can't really control is kind of scary. Not that they would, but at any point, YouTube can ban me and there's nothing I can do about it. I would have no way of reaching any of you who are subscribed to my channel, which is why it's such a good idea to make an email list. I think a great way to take this email advice a step further is create your own author website. And no, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can get started for free on WordPress. My website is currently no longer active, but I first started my author email list by having this pop up on my website. For the email list, I use MailChimp. It was super easy to get started with them, and I've never had any issues. And as for the emails I sent to the people who signed up, I don't use it very frequently. I basically send out an update every few months where I talk about some of the fun things that have happened during my writing journey and what I'm currently working on. The goal isn't to bother people, just to keep them in a loop. And most importantly, if something bad ever happens to your social media platforms, you still have a way to contact your audience. Which is great because if you think about it, the people who sign up for your email list are going to be the most passionate people in your audience. My fourth tip is to just focus on writing. The one thing that you can truly control as an author is the book that you write. So just focus on writing the best book you possibly can and the rest will fall into place. Look, I love social media, but the most important part about writing a book is actually writing that book, not posting about it on Instagram or TikTok or anywhere. If you write a great book, your readers will remember your name. Think about it. Brandon Sanderson did not get where he is today because of his great social media personality. He got there because he's a really good writer. And don't get me wrong, the social media platforms do help, but the main focus is actually writing good quality work. So don't let worrying about TikTok take away from actually focusing on writing, especially when you can't really control what happens to TikTok anyway. Let me know what you think about this whole TikTok fan situation in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to watch this video on writing and social media next. Good luck with your writing journeys.